Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. Today I'll share with you my top 10 booths from Creativation 2018. I've selected these for a combination of decorations, samples and overall feel that they gave to me. Let me know which one is of these is your favorite. Number 10, Paper Artsy. This booth is very close to my heart. I designed for them. They've made possible my entrance to the industry. So despite not having the best decoration ever, this booth means the world to me. Paper Artsy are my crafty family, so they had to be in my top 10. And besides, the best moments and memories from the show happened in between these walls. Seeing my new release coming up and displayed, building the booth, especially creating the fresco paint wall that this is displayed here, where I had to stick every bottle to its place. Luckily, Mark came to help. Sharing these moments also with Leandra, Mark, and Seth, and other nice visitors, giving demos, I feel like being at home, and I couldn't have had a best start on the show. So watching my own wall with my own stamps there, all the samples that you can see, and the paper artsy booth in the demo area made by Leandra, they are so sweet and so cool. And actually being able to demo myself there, it was very nice. I really enjoyed it. So this is the back part of the booth and you can see that for instance Sethapter has his um, samples on the top in digital format but then he also has real samples. Then Emma Godfrey as well, which I couldn't show that much because at that time uh, they were not released yet. And then all the different things and all the stamps available for all the shops to purchase and have a look at. So many designers so much good quality of samples as well and here we have Leandra who will explain a little bit on a demo hello oh hi Raquel it's yeah. not live don't worry okay. <laughs> yeah but maybe some point it will be it will be it will be <laughs> hopefully <laughs> oh jelly printing yeah I mean it's just it's super fun mm. it going to getting there and then oh, using that nice yeah. we know you Wow, that's a big piece. I'm here to order again. What are these? <laughs> so, what are the fusions? So, it's a Okay, so you get that little nice. slight mark. Because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make a background that I can use for something else. So I just want to create some, have some brightness, but I don't want it to be too bright. So uh -huh. I'm trying to knock it back by using the stencil. So I really enjoyed my time there. And this is all for the paper artsy booth. I hope you liked it. And now we will move on to number nine, Tatered Angels. I find this booth was a bit random, having many things displayed here and there, but it had very nice decorative touches and some products that I love to see. So you can see here many samples and you can see roughly how it was distributed. It had that nice mannequin made with papers which is so cool and then it had different things on the floor here and there for you to have a look at lots of papers and samples and nice details I think I've seen this in paper artsy hot pics and then different papers by seven gypsies art journals more mannequins more paper more nice decorations and I particularly love that table that you see over there on the left because it was just stripes or fabric attached to the top and I really liked those spritzers you can't see them here but they really shined I love them number eight Lan Fan. they have a massive collection of stamps and dies I really like them because they allow you to color in images which is one of my favorite things to do with stamps and also illustrations are so cute. The booth was full of inspiration. Lots of cards, some interactive wear displays for you to see how to use all these stamps and dies that Long Phone has. On the top shelf you have the products, all the stamps and dies so you can see them. And I'm going little by little so you can see all the variety that they have. And then underneath in the bottom shelves they have all those cute samples with all those characters. They are so nice colored and make a perfect card. 
So lots of inspiration in this booth if you are into card making, that's for sure. And regarding interactive cards, they have, for instance, this one with the mermaids, which is very 3D. You can fold it and still put it into an envelope, but also you can play around with it and see how all those layers interact and how they move. It's so cool. I like it very much. And also they have the typical one where you would use a coin to flip some kind of character here and there. So here the moose is moving around and coming back and forth. So you can play with your card. It's very fun. And also they have one of those where you basically have an acetate and you stamp some images or here maybe hand drawn with a pen. Everything is white, but then you shift that card, you pull it and then color comes in and it's so nice. I really like the constellations stamp set that they have and those characters looking up at the stars. So cute. So lots of cards, lots of inspirations as you can see. And look at this great idea to announce a pregnancy. Guess what? There's a bun! <laughs> so cool. And because they are nice little characters, you can create also windows and show them on display. Lots of fun. I love this one. Well, that was all for Lamfound. Now, Eclectic Elements, number 7. This is by Tim Holtz. This booth was pretty small. It was almost always empty, but it's so inspiring that I thought it would make it to the top 10. Under this brand you can find lots of fabrics, but inspired in, well, the distressed look of Tim Holtz. So those fabrics there, they are very vintage and they already have all that goodness on them, so you can use them directly. But also they have other fabrics, like the ones that you'll be seeing in the lampshade that appears on the left. That one are based on papers from Tim Holtz from different collections. So they turn them into fabrics so you can use them. And you can create bags, cushions and everything. And look at these vests and the dresses underneath. It's the perfect way to display a sample of fabric so you know how it looks like and they look so cute. I just want one for me, <laughs> but I don't fit, sadly. <laughs> so basically the booth, apart from having all those fabrics, it also displays nice vintage decoration and of course other metallic elements that you can use in your pieces of fabric. They also sell the fabrics apparently in 12x12, like if they were papers. So these are perfect if you want to make like a um, project maybe a throw for your bed and you just need squares for patchwork, that's perfect. And also they have fat quarters, very nice. I think they've nailed it, transforming paper into fabric because it's a pity that you can only use those designs in paper, so why not use them in fabric? I find it's a very good idea. So I really like this booth, it was full of inspiration and full of nice details. Even if it was just to have a look at it, it was worth it. And I felt totally in love with those vests and those dresses. So cute and very nice decoration. Okay, that's all for Eclectic Elements. Let's go to number six, alterations. These booth have different parts on it that I love. I'll leave you with Tim Holtz for a while so he can explain to you a little bit more. Hey it's Tim Holtz and I'm here in this is a booth at Renovation 2018. Now, yesterday I caught it, but I shared a little bit about the 3D and Thank everything you. cool and exciting coming your way. But this, there's so many other things. Indeed, the booth has many things. It has a dinner with a sidekick and the side orders. You can die cut mini elements for your cards and planners. These are so cute. Apparently, these cut absolutely everything you see on each model. So basically, if you're cutting the airplane and the suitcase or whatever, the suitcase cuts with lots of stickers. So the in one go, you can basically have it and then you can color it and you don't need to die cut every single element independently. So they have many different models for you to choose from. They also have some gorgeous samples where lots of dyes are used. 
but you really don't notice these are just dye samples. So there is so much inspiration on this booth too. really like the ticket die. It's so cool. You can create very nice tickets if you combine this with the stamps. And many more samples for you to look at. The thin lids with those flowers are just gorgeous. And also you can create very nice windows. And this one is one of my favorites. So you can basically die cut that and then put it in your planner and you can fit in any cards or things that you want to keep. I love also this one with the different letters that you can die cut and create words. Or that cup with lots of flowers coming out. And one of the most surprising dyes and elements that you can create are the houses. So let's see what Tim Holtz has to say about it. New for this release is the Fixer Upper. Now the Fixer Upper is a thinlet set that is designed to work with the entire village series. Because it's a thin dye, it allows us to create a lot more detailed pieces for the house. And what better house to fix up than our old spooky manor. So this is the manor. This is the manor with the fixer upper. There you go. So you can see all the detailed trim that's here. You can see the little awnings that this puts on. You can see our new slat door. I'll kind of spin this around so you can see. It's got those great shuttered windows. And take a look at this window on the back. Look at that little garden window. How cool is that? Very, very cool. So I love the ability to take those dies and really add detail. Of course, they'll work with any of the drawings, but this is a little picture for every now and again. One day I'm gonna get them. They are so cool. Look at that one with all the candies. And now put your 3D glasses on because the back part of the booth had some 3D stuff. So basically they've printed these in this red and blue style so you can use those glasses, the one that has red and blue cellophane paper and you can see the actual embossing folders in 3D. And if you move with them, wow, well, the images really popped out from the wall. So I'm just putting some freeze there in case that you have those glasses and you can have a look at it. It was very cool detail. I really liked this idea. And look at the samples created with them. They seem real metal. And this flowery is so nice. Look at the sample made with it. It's just so simple, but I really love it. And the clock, the paper that covers it is embossed. It looks great. Okay, so that's all in Alteration C6 booth. Now let's go to number five, which is Stampers Anonymous. In Stampers Anonymous, they have new stencils and new stamps re that were released at Creativation. So I'll show you the stencils first, which were here in the wall. Very organic, very nice, and perfect for backgrounds. And you will see them in all the samples on this booth, which again are very inspirational. And then the stamps. I really like that postage stamp. It's so cool. And also the tickets. I think that one is my favorite. Numbers, love numbers. And flowers. And here are the samples. I don't particularly like these ones with the bicycles and the weird shapes. But then when it comes to the animals and the flowers, then they got me. <laughs> Look at that one. The moth is embossed in Amica tile. Again, lots of inspiration in this booth. I really love those butterflies or moths or whatever they are. <laughs> Very nice composition. And that is a shaker card. The designer really cut all the bees one by one by hand. And now we go to the beverages. 
these are my favorite ones <laughs> because I love blueprints and apparently they are the, going to be the last ones that they make look at that beer it's a shaker card with beads this sample is also a favorite can you see the background also embossed with some texture paste using that stencil and all the volume that the foam has from the beer and that Bloody Mary is perfect to watercolor it numbers being displayed and that one about the beer is also so cool it seems very German, very Oktoberfest, isn't it? with the pretzels and everything and the wine and that tropical cocktail very nice too look at that soft background with the distress inks looks so cool and they also have the mini versions of the beverages of course and now on this side we can see more like for sewing those mannequins and also the tickets and some typewriter I love the tickets I already say that but really these are my favorites <laughs> I like them very much and they coordinate with those dice from C6 and look at that heart it's a perfect card for Valentine very good ideas in this booth and this one also is so soft I like very much how they painted those mannequins it seems like watercolor and are the same as the ones below and I really like that tag with a man with a butterfly face and the beer of course <laughs> that is great and they have here some tags because they've released different sizes of tags so with the paper dolls you can see how these look and more bags and more flowers and more beverages so I enjoyed this booth a lot I think I came like three or four times to just see all the samples and get that source of inspiration I thought it was very nice and the designer team made a great job with them so that's all in this booth, apart from that I also met here Tim Holtz and it was so much fun to listen to him and explain all the samples. Okay, now number 4, 49 and Market. I don't know about you, but I had never heard of 49 and Market before. They have been in the market since 2016. It was great and a nice surprise to see the booth. Lots as lots of inspiration in their worlds. They sell papers and embellishments gorgeous flowers and chipboard elements so you can create scrapbook projects in 3D with many many layers that you can hang from your wall to decorate it. Their design team did a super great job. So this booth is all about the samples and the different ideas that you can gather from them. Remember, 49 and market. <laughs> so these are the samples that you just saw with a little bit more detail. I really like the arrangements and the compositions and all the 3D effect that you can get. Very cool. So these are the different flowers that they are color coded and then you have the different chipboard elements to add more layering and more 3D effect. It is great that they actually have different packs and then you just don't need to think a lot about how to use them. You just basically use the pack that they give you and it will be perfect color match that you want to use. So you can maybe grab two boxes or something or two packs and just create those projects combining different colors. I really like that some of them are very subtle and some of them are very vibrant so you can go on the style that you like I 
I really like this one, it's so cute. Maybe it's because of the baby face, but I love the composition and that honeycomb and the two little clusters. And that one with the three clusters is so gorgeous. I like it very much. What do you think? This one is my favorite, you'll see it now with more detail. First, this one on the left is also very nice. I really like that it's kind of the same picture, just rearranged in three different ways and it looks great, that composition. But this one definitely is my favorite, I don't know, I like it very much, it's very soft and the combination of the composition is just gorgeous. I love it. This one I find it super cute, so shabby chic, I don't know, very soft colors, I like it very much, and lots of layers as well. So that's all, this was 49 and Market, I hope you like it, I think it was very inspiring booth, and it was a great surprise. Now let's move on to the top 3, number 3 is Prima. Prima won the Critics Award for the best booth design in Creativation 2018. They had a very nice distribution, different areas, there was a lot to see and they also had nice samples to get inspiration from. And they also had this gorgeous mannequin made with paper. Can you see that? Those are book spines and lots of flowers and lots of details. On the top part, they are like banners and full of butterflies. I just love this one. Wouldn't you like a dress like that? It would be great! And they had samples all over the place. For instance, they had these mini albums, which are full of detail, lots of flowers, lots of details. Maybe they are too much for me, but still they are nice to see. I wouldn't make one like that myself, but they are really nice to see. Lots of shine and lots of flowers, lots of details, plenty of inspiration. I really love the molds that they have, so you can create those little frames. In that table I met Frank Garcia. So in the inside you can see all the little elements and then if you move to the outside of the booth you can see the different collections of paper and all the inspiration that they have put together for you in the different samples. I really like how they look, how they use the texture paste, lot of details and the fantastic compositions. This is the lavender collection. Don't be disappointed if you find foil on them, they do have foil, okay? <laughs> it's not plain paper. And with the collection they also have tickets and different other elements. And this is my favorite sample. I like it very much. It has so much details there and it has sparkle and shine. That's why I go so close with the video, so you can see all that shine that comes from there. They must have used some sort of mist or something, some spray, because, okay, the paper is lavender, but, I mean, the shadows follow the composition, so I doubt that it's actually from the real pattern, so there are a lot of details included in this layout. The designer is just great. They did such a nice work with this one. It has butterflies, other beads lots of shine and 3D elements, definitely my favorite. And they have more and more samples all around. 
for the different paper collections. So this is just one. You can see all that is included in the collection. And another sample at the bottom. Here you can see the foil on the right part, that ticket there. So some of them are foiled. This is another collection. And some more. They are very soft and they are very nice for maybe albums and romantic things. <laughs> So in this booth is not only the products, it's also the inspiration that really liked, I liked very much. Really creativation in general is just a source of inspiration. You want to go back and then start crafting <laughs> when you reach home. There are some sprays there. So basically you can create those watercolor backgrounds. This one has many, many layers. Very cute. And this one I like it very much as well. I think the composition is very nice. And the layering as well. There was more, I haven't captured everything, but you have an idea of how the booth looked like and what you could find there. So some close-up photos now of the different layouts. And this is all about Prima. Now let's go to number 2, Graphic 45. I love Graphic 45 papers and this booth was a celebration on them. They've released so now some deluxe collector editions where you can find delicious paper designs. I really like the Botanical T1. They also have what they call staples, which are things that you can use to create your paper projects like metallic elements such as keyholes or rings or other substrates like boxes or tags. So they are the perfect companions for your projects. So this is an overall look to the booth. And then they organize the different paper collections on different locations. So this one I think it's called Fairy Dust very magical and enchanting and again the samples here are very inspiring you have all those boxes and all those journals and books and again I think they like it very much <laughs> everywhere those mannequins made with paper this one I really like it very much how those butterflies go up and the banners the little fairy so cool it's a baby mannequin actually well or lady or I mean girl <laughs> mannequin this one is called floral shop I think and it's full of very nice flowers very intense colors like normally graphic 45 do and sometimes you can actually cut the actual design from the paper and use them as embellishments and that's very good too if you really like to do these kind of projects Look at that cabinet, so cool. So now we are in the staples part that I was talking about before. And you can see the little books, the little tags, and all those metallic elements that you can add to your projects. Like keyholes, keys, different handles. And all the paper collections. Hmm, I would love to have them all. Especially this one, the botanical tea. It's so soft. Very pastel color-like. But very nice. So perfect for a tea party. <laughs> and the floral shop again some close-up pictures so you can see all the detail of those papers and the samples that the team prepared for us 
really enjoyable. And the fairy dust, so magical, full of mushrooms and fairies and flowers. Lots of intensity in the color, very nice. So that's more or less all about graphic 45. And now we will go to number one, the top one on the list, which is ideology. The balance between decoration and samples on this booth was superb. And me being a fan of embellishments and vintage items, I was in paradise. It was the perfect combination. Lots of things to look at, not only decoration wise, but also, of course, product wise and sample wise. So basically on the top part of the booth you had a very nice vintage decoration with lots of elements and then underneath you had the products which we will see into more detail. So that's the top part. It reminds me like finding Wally books, <laughs> you know, it's so much full of details that you can play a game there and see have you seen the scary monkey? Probably you've seen it because that's very obvious. So now you can see all the details from the different products that they sell. I really love them and I have many. Well, I have some. <laughs> I mean, if you take all the ones that they have, then I can say that I have little of them because they really are a big amount of embellishments. I love the buckles. I think I'm going to get them next. I think they may be great to close an album. And all those arrows, they are very cute. Handles. Anything you can imagine. Wheels. And even water faucets. Can you believe that? Look at them. I love the spinners. I use them a lot with my compasses to create like like if it was a compass and add an interactive thing into your project. And I really love those vintage tins. They are very nice. They are already aged for you, but you can keep new stuff inside if you want, of course. And the flowers that you can paint and color as you want and many other elements. That one is gorgeous. And then on the other side is more like ephemera and tissue papers, which are also great. Paper dolls, butterflies, face clocks, the words, the machine to create your own rings. Vignette boxes, the new tissue paper again. The list is endless and gorgeous. <laughs> and the washi tape, oh, those are so good. And then, of course, you go to the samples. Well, first, let's have another look to the top part into more detail. Let's see who can find the scary monkey. <laughs> it's like a vintage shop full of antiquities or a museum even. Look, the scary monkey! <laughs> the other side is also full of different vintage collections elements. And I think it has some of the product repeated underneath. You will see it later. And now we go to the samples, which are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm going to stop and freeze some frames for you so you can watch. Look at that one with the ruler, the keyhole on the key, and the paper doll standing there. Oh, such a big tag. That's a tag. They sell that tag so big. It's like a shadow box. 
that they've created with vineyard boxes. Lots of nice elements. Again, the designer teams, they've made such a great job. And that one is my favorite. I really like that triptych. I don't know what it is, but it's really impacting and I really like it very much. And all the setting and all the decoration. Such a great job they did. And putting the samples in crate, I think it was a very good idea. Perfect displays. And look at this, wow. And the sample with the colors is so cool. And the clock. And that box full of little elements there that you'll see after that magnificent printer. Mm. Just love it. And then, because why not, more luggage there in the middle of the booth just to decorate and it's gorgeous here they do have also a mannequin and those samples are very cute so this one is like a folder and then it has different flaps and I really like this idea to store your sentiments or just to basically go through it and watch because it's really nice to watch even if you don't include anything else and this one is made of fabric no paper at all. Well, actually, there is some tissue paper attached to the canvas. And then all the elements are stitched. I love it. It was very relaxing flipping through this book. And again, it's full of inspiration. Flaps here and there. Different details. I really, really love it. Very nice. That's the tissue paper attached to the canvas on the outside. And more samples. More inspiration. Paper dolls all over the place. They are the great subjects for the projects. So look at that vignette box with the two little princesses or fairies however you want to call them very cool and this shadow box it's also very nice full of little elements metallic ones like the butterflies the corner with the top laurel there very nice more tissue paper used there and here they've used those letters in wood and the ruler looks amazing and now we will go to the other side of the booth where you will be able to see all the decoration that is there very cool stuff again like if it was an antique shop full of different products and lots of things displayed on it very vintage look at that sewing machine and then underneath those products I think they are repeated they have also displayed the papers and the vignette boxes and shadow boxes and some more other stamps so this booth for me was very inspiring full of again inspiration and full of details and decoration parts that I liked very very much and I think that it just gets you started. If you don't find any inspiration, you can just look at this and then start creating. Well, that's all for today. It was a long video. I hope you liked it. I could have speeded it up, but I think that all that inspiration is better received if you savor it little by little. This video is my wrap up for Creativation 2018. I'll create a post at my blog, scrapcozy.com, with my adventures on the show so feel free to go there if you still want to read more about them. If you want to see more videos and demos that I captured during the show, just go to the playlist I created. 
now in screen and enjoy. Thanks very much for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!